Hello everyone, I'm Joseph Barrow, Superintendent of Schools here in Fayette County, and uh, welcome to another community chat for our uh, parents, our students, our community at large, certainly our staff. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to congratulate all of the members of the class of 2020, the graduating group uh, that just had their virtual graduation last Friday. Um, I, um, I know that there's somewhat of a disappointment with that, that it wasn't the actual face-to-face -face graduation ceremony. However, we hope that the uh, pandemic will have reduced to the point we can do something like that on August 1st, and I know that's the hope of all of our high school principals and the hope of the district that we can do that. Please stay tuned. But um, with the virtual graduation, I just want to share just a few facts with you. Uh, as of last Friday, um, we had over 23,000, well, almost just under 24,000 views of the virtual ceremonies at all five high schools. I think that's tremendous and uh, certainly appreciate all of our technology people uh, and our high school principals uh, for putting in the time and the effort, everyone who contributed to that. Um, great news in that we had, uh, as of uh, the, the latest number I have, we had 1,643 uh, young people who qualified uh, for high school diplomas here from the Fayette County School District. And I'm just extremely proud and, and pleased with that great work and Certainly want to wish all of our graduates all the best, and hopefully we'll see you in August with a formal face-to-face -face ceremony. Um, we have completed the end of the school year uh, as of uh, last Friday, and uh, I want to commend all of our building principals, all of our staff members uh, for doing a great job in their end-of-year closeout opportunities and activities. All of that was we gave parameters from the district, but it was a school-based plan. And in visiting multiple sites, uh, I know that that went pretty well, actually very well. And I appreciate everybody pulling together uh, to, to make the end of the year closure come to happen. Uh, we have um, started work on the re-entry plans for the reopening of school for 2021. Uh, I would encourage all of you to take a look at the uh, Board of Education Assembly uh, website. Uh, we've posted some uh, uh, plans on the uh, agenda from our work session. These are still very, very much in draft form. Uh, just being able to build a framework and hopefully we'll flesh those out. Um, I think it's real important to thank our parents, our staff, our students for uh, completing uh, the re reopening surveys. It's imperative that we continue to have you share that information with us. Uh, we're going to be using that information as we build out and flesh out those plans. Uh, we don't want to make decisions in isolation. We really do want your feedback and the data that we gather from those surveys is actually going to try, drive our plan moving forward. So um, I, I very much, I'm pleading, begging, asking, whatever, I, whatever you want to say, but we need your feedback so that we can make the best decision possible. I know that uh, some people will disagree, some people will wholeheartedly agree. Um, I don't know where you will stand on the issue, but we want to be able to give you an opportunity for feedback. Um, we'll have more surveys that are going to go out probably the second week in July, and we'll be asking parents and students to make decisions about some choices uh, that we've uh, put into place. Uh, I know that we've got a survey out right now with our transportation department. Uh, if you have young people, students that will consider riding the bus or plan to ride the bus. We need to know that now uh, because we're beginning to develop transportation patterns and routes and, and it will help us in order to comply with social distancing requirements to understand how many students will be riding the bus uh, in next year's school year. Uh, I would like to remind uh, our parents and our staff to please check your email 
at least a couple of times a week for any announcements that may come out from the system. Um, we are, uh, as we said, we're building the plane while we're flying it in, in building this re-entry plant. So it's really important that you are aware of where we are with the process and we'll reach out and ask for uh, input from the community, parents, and our staff as we continue to build uh, the plan out. If you have suggestions, I want to encourage you to send those to our public information office, uh, but please feel free to share any uh, comments or concerns. I know uh, we've been working with a lot of data. We've pulled a lot of examples from around the country. Uh, we've certainly come up with our own unique ideas here in Fayette County, and we're working to build the best plan that we can that will give parents and students and staff some choice. Uh, that's really important to us. We, we understand that. We know that intrinsically. Uh, the feedback that we've received uh, certainly has indicated the desire to be able to have some choice in the decision, and clearly that's what we want to do in building our plan. Um, if you haven't already done so, I would encourage you uh, and others to subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for automatic notifications of new video postings. We're going to uh, continue to provide these periodically every week to two weeks just to keep you informed with the process that we are building out uh, with our reentry plans. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, our next video chat, our community chat. Thank you and have a great summer. We'll talk to you soon.